Is sleep is essential for overall well-being and health. It is during sleep that our bodies recover and regenerate, allowing us to wake up refreshed and ready to face a new day. Unfortunately, for those with nighttime pain, achieving restful sleep can be a constant struggle. The pain itself can make it difficult to find a comfortable sleeping position, leading to frequent awakenings during the night. As a result, the lack of quality sleep can exacerbate the perpetuation of pain, creating a vicious cycle that makes it even harder to break free from the nighttime pain trap. So, let's talk about nighttime pain today. Pain is a common discomfort that many adults experience regularly. About one in five adults have chronic pain, which means that they feel it all the time. Interestingly, some people notice that their pain changes throughout the day and night. Specifically, they find that their pain seems to get worse when night falls and everything becomes quiet and dark. Have you ever wondered why this happens? Researchers believe that pain might follow a special pattern similar to our body's natural sleep-wake cycle. This is called a circadian rhythm. It may be related to release of certain hormones in the brain, like cortisol. During the day, when we are more active and engage in various activities, the pain might not feel as bad, but when it's time to rest and sleep at night, the pain might become more intense. It's like our bodies somehow know it's time to sleep and the pain decides to show up and make it harder for us to relax. So this is what a circadian rhythm looks like. Let's start here at six o'clock. This means that the body functions, the physiology of the body changes with the time of the day. Our body does not behave the same all day long. There are things that happen only at certain times of the day or night. So when you wake up, let's say around 6.45, that's when you have the sharpest blood pressure rise. By 7.30 is when the melatonin secretion stops. By 10 a.m. is when you have the highest alert of your brain that you can concentrate better. By noon is when you have hunger by 2.30 in the afternoon, you have the best coordination. By 3.30 in the afternoon, fastest reaction time. Uh, by, by 5 o'clock in the afternoon, you have the best muscle strength and cardiovascular efficiency. By 6.30 p.m., the highest blood pressure of the day. By 7 p.m., the highest body temperature. By 9 p.m. it's time to start thinking about sleeping and that's when melatonin secretion starts. By midnight you should be sleeping and by 2 a.m. you should be in deep sleep and by 4.30 a.m. that's when the body has the lowest body temperature. So that's the variations in our body that follow a 24-hour clock. For some individuals, their pain is caused by inflammation like arthritis. At night, our bodies release certain substances called cytokines, which can worsen the pain for those with inflammatory conditions. These cytokines seem to throw a party for the pain, make it even more bothersome when we should be preparing for a good night's sleep. An example of back pain caused by inflammatory arthritis is ankylosing spondylitis. Watch my other video to learn about more about this condition. During the day, we have plenty of distractions to keep our minds busy, such as work, friends, and hobbies. These distractions can help us cope with the pain and make it feel less bothersome. However, at night, when everything is calm and quiet, the pain might feel more noticeable and difficult to ignore. Interestingly, some people who experience nighttime pain also struggle with sleep. It's like a never-ending loop. Pain disrupts the sleep, and not getting enough rest can make the pain feel even worse. It's as if the pain and sleep problems feed each other, making the situation more challenging to manage. But don't worry, there are ways to address nighttime pain. For those with inflammatory pain, 
doctors may have strategies to reduce the impact of cytokines. Additionally, they can work on treating the underlying cause of the pain, such as arthritis, which can alleviate nighttime discomfort. If you or someone knows who you know have nighttime pain, it's essential to talk to your healthcare professional who can provide guidance and support. There are various ways to manage pain and improve sleep quality, so don't hesitate to seek help. In my book, The Eight Steps to Conquer Chronic Pain, one of the steps is about sleep efficiency. You can read this chapter or you can watch my YouTube video about it. I'll post the link in the description of this video below. This is the third step of the eight steps. I explain how you can calculate your own sleep efficiency and then I give you 10 tips to improve your sleep efficiency. This is extremely important for anyone but even more for people with chronic pain. When seeking solutions for nighttime pain, it is crucial to work closely with healthcare professionals. Pain management strategies can vary depending on the underlying cause and individual circumstances. For some, physical therapy, exercise, relaxation techniques might be beneficial. For others, medications or interventions like nerve blocks or other medical procedures could offer relief. Watch my other video of mattresses, pillows and sleep position for pain that I demonstrate what you can do at night if you have musculoskeletal chronic pain. Although the mystery of why nighttime pain gets worse may not be completely solved, researchers are continuously working to understand it better. Remember, you are not alone in dealing with this issue and there are ways to make things better. Don't hesitate to reach out to trusted individuals for support and guidance as you navigate through nighttime pain and its impact on your life. This video is not intended to provide medical advice. If you have a condition that causes pain, please talk to your doctor. This video is for educational purposes only. And if there is an emergency, please call an ambulance or go to the nearest emergency department. If you have experienced nighttime pain or have insights to share on managing pain and sleep, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Your experiences and perspectives can offer valuable support and inspiration to others on a similar journey. Thank you for watching today. Goodbye.